Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So wow, what is going on here on the Bitcoin price? We are breaking very strong resistance. We are in a very critical point right now. We just had some hourly closes above $14,400. And that is, of course, what is needed to bring Bitcoin into new levels because above $14,400, we never had very much price action. And we're going to have a look where potentially we're going to head to next if we are not seeing a correction right now, because there are some warning signs, but Bitcoin is looking very nice. So congratulations to everyone that is holding Bitcoin and also who is in the boat in our crypto family. So if you are are new in the crypto space if you are a no coiner then make sure that you go as soon as possible down below here in the video description and use the sign up links for Swissborg and coinbase this is where you can easily buy cryptos especially bitcoin with your bank account so definitely go down and open up an account as soon as possible because bitcoin is about to go really parabolic and you definitely don't want to miss out the boat and even if you are already in the crypto space, make sure that you have already your bags ready because once Bitcoin is going parabolic again, you don't have to FOMO in once the prices is doing big jumps to the upside. So what we have seen this morning was a very nice pump here above $14,400. So currently we are breaking out of this channel that we were in since the last few weeks and Bitcoin is really starting to look very, very bullish. And I think it is even possible that we're going to see 20K even within this year. The only problem that currently I still have is here in the DXY because the DXY is just bouncing here from the previous resistance which now is new support. So I definitely will be way more bullish if the DXY goes again $93 and also closes daily candles below the 20 and 50 daily moving average. Then I think the DXY will continue to plunge way lower. And in that case, we will not see anymore a correction in the Bitcoin price, at least not a big one before the potential next parabolic all time high. So if we open up now the four hour time frame in the Bitcoin price currently, you can see that we are getting a bit exhausted up here. Of course, we're still trading above all the moving averages. We have my own indicator, which has still room left to the upside. But of course, if here we're going to get a sell signal there, I potentially see a pullback at least towards the $14,400. We also have to see where we're going to close the next couple of candles here in the four hour time frame because as long as we're closing those candles above $14,400 in theory the next target would be at around $16,000 but if we're going to have a major correction then watch out here for this area here between the 20 moving average at 13,800 down to the 200 moving average right at 12,200 this is also the level where previously we had resistance and now should be turning into new support so I think even though we are breaking here out to the upside there is still a high chance that maybe we're gonna see a last leg down here and then the attack again towards the resistance but this is only if we're starting again to close four hour candles below fourteen thousand four hundred dollar at the time of recording it looks like that we will see continuation to the upside because here in the lower time frames it is normal that we are in very exhausted area here in the indicators as long as bitcoin is pushing so nicely to the upside you can also see the bollinger band currently very exhausted we're right at the top here so even a pullback towards thirteen thousand eight hundred dollar is still healthy and we will remain still on our way to the upside so be careful if you open up big long positions maybe scale in your longs because currently we have way more longs than shorts and often we see long squeezes when the price just wicks to the downside to liquidate or stop out some longs and then immediately come back up again and continue the pump so be very careful if you go with high leverage in your trades and remember that currently on Bybit we still have this special $500 bonus going on if you put here this voucher code in the rewards hub of course you also have to put a deposit in it to get this full rewards but you have time till December to fulfill all the requirements 
and now we can have a look into the DXY because DXY currently still falling here right at our main support so if here we are starting to close for our candles or even better daily candles below this trend line so below $93 I'm afraid that the DXY will take a big deep plunge here towards $90 and that of course will lead into a big pump in the Bitcoin price. So although the DXY right now is in a very critical point, if you have a look into my own indicator and also into the RSI, you can see that we still have some room left to the downside, but somewhere we of course gonna see a bounce to the upside and that of course could be also lead into a correction in the Bitcoin price. But it is very nice to see Bitcoin pushing so high and also outperforming all the other markets. So it is really great to be in the crypto space, my friends. So definitely Definitely don't miss out the next big parabolic run of Bitcoin because it can happen at any time once we are breaking here and also confirming here this new support right at $14,500. And now let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can clearly see that the money flow is coming again back into Bitcoin even though we were again in very overbought condition and we were looking exhausted but you can see that Bitcoin still has some room left to the upside and we should expect also in the next few months and years still big continuations towards new levels but always keep in mind that the Bitcoin price could at any time have a pullback towards the 20 daily moving average right here at $13,000 potentially in the worst case even towards the 200 daily moving average which right now is at $10,400 so what I'm doing on the way to the upside with the fiat that I have still on the sideline I always have my buy orders right above the 200 daily moving average in case of a major dump or anything like that I have already my orders set so I don't have to monitor the price 24 7 I can just adjust every week my buy orders right above the 200 daily moving average because in the worst case scenarios Bitcoin usually comes down towards these levels and then have a big bounce to the upside if a major pullback is coming on but if you don't want to wait for a 200 daily moving average retest and keep an eye here on this price level here between $12,200 and $13,000 and in the worst case if we are coming down again into this channel then watch out for the main support right at $11,200 at the time of recording and if we have a look into the DXY you can see that currently we are trading below the 20 and 50 daily moving average but we have to see if we are able to close now below or above these two important moving averages because yesterday we had a close right above these two moving averages and now we're gonna have to see if we are getting still here these closes above these moving averages or not because in that case we would still have the chance to go towards the 200 daily moving average which right now is at around $97 and that is the only reason why we could see maybe one last leg to the downside in the Bitcoin price before we're gearing up here for the next levels. So keep a very close eye what the DXY is doing, especially how it's going to close today. And now we can head over into the weekly time frame in the Bitcoin price because I have already adjusted here the Fibonacci retracements. So we have right now the most important lines, the 0.236 and 0.382 Fib lines. Those are the two lines which I think is very likely to be reached in case of a major pullback. This is where I think it is good to open up longs and also buy even more Bitcoins. If we're gonna have like a flash crash or anything bigger, then watch out for the 0.5 and the 0.618 Fib line here between $8,000 and $9,230 if this was the top. But since we are breaking now significant resistances, I think there is still a lot of room left to the upside and if we have a look here in the past when we topped out at twenty thousand dollar you can see that after that everything above this 0.618 fib line so everything above thirteen thousand five hundred dollar is kind of no man's land and we only had here right at sixteen thousand dollars some support and resistances for like one or two weeks so in my opinion it is very likely that the next move now will be towards sixteen thousand dollar before maybe we're gonna see a pullback but once we're reaching $16,000, it is also very easy for the Bitcoin price to go straight towards 20K, maybe even higher. Because if we have a look into the Fibonacci extensions, you can see my next target, if we're gonna break 20K, is right here $30,000 before maybe we're coming down again for an another correction and then gear up here for the next big leg to the upside. Because also during bull markets and also if you're breaking new all-time high, this doesn't mean that then we go straight towards 100K and higher 
higher although on the way to the upside we always have pullbacks and you definitely should be ready to buy every dip and every bigger pullback that we're gonna see in the next couple of months and years and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit the like button also subscribe to the channel and if you want to get access to my own indicator where you can see buy and sell signals for bitcoin then make sure to join my free discord trading chat you find the link down below here and also make sure that you use these recommended exchanges to trade cryptos with leverage because with my links that you find down below here you also will get some rewards and of course also you support the channel so thank you very much for watching my friends congratulations to all the bitcoin hodlers and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye